Good morning, land of YouTube. Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. Bitcoin action. So uh, I just wanted to make a quick little video here. Come across some really annoying situations concerning Bitcoin on YouTube. So uh, yesterday I was watching lots of videos and there lots of technical analysis folks saying that there's a symmetrical triangle here and uh, they're drawing out something about like that right there. And they're saying, oh, it's a breakout down. And lots of technical analysis people on YouTube are saying we're going to go down to like uh, you know, 49,000 down here, 42, maybe 39,000, you know. There's other ones, other people putting out information about some P cycle that, that, that you know this is the market top and we're going down and and uh, all this stuff and 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 I watched some of them today already and it's just so annoying. I've already watched some videos of those people saying this triangle was broken. I said, yeah, look, see, it broke down. See, you know, I was right and all this. And I mean, that's not a that's not a breakdown. That's not a breakout. That's just someone drawing a triangle, a geometrical shape on a screen, on, on an asset that, that has to keep going to the right. That's what that is. That's that's not that's not a breakdown. It's not a breakout. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Anyone you're listening to that says that's some kind of breakout, and you know Bitcoin's going down. That's that's not true, man. That's take take these lines off here and, and look at it. That's where 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 is there a breakout of a triangle? On, a, on an asset going straight to the right, it's going perfectly sideways. It's, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's almost so boring and stable and mature. It's it's boring. I mean, there's, there's no drama. There's no breakdown in there. It's, we're not going below fifty thousand. I mean, we could. I mean, let's never say never. But uh, a lot of a lot of the technical analysis folks, it's almost like they don't pay attention to the fundamentals, and the fundamentals and, and the reality of, of what's going on and the news that that's what makes the price of assets technical analysis did not make the price of the asset you know you can draw a triangle on here all day i can draw another triangle today well not with that line i can't <laughs> uh technical technical analysis is good it does work but it's not it's not uh it's not set in stone. You know, you can't just keep drawing. You know, I, I drew a triangle here yesterday like this. Oh, I had a breakdown. Well, yeah, you know, and then you can just turn around tomorrow, today, and we can just put this line. Well, here's another triangle. So, I mean, this this asset has to keep going to the right, right? It keeps putting in candles. And it's just, it's not breaking down. It's not breaking up. It's just going sideways. It's just, <laughs> um, anyway, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. Some YouTubers, I think, uh, they may not realize they're doing it, but they put out FUD. So, like, YouTubers will call other people out in the traditional financial world and say they're making FUD stories, fear, uncertainty, and doubt stories about Bitcoin. And then they turn around and do the same thing to their viewers, you know. There, anyone that's been telling you that, that there's a big crash coming and, and you know, that there was some sort of breakout yesterday to the downside. It's just simply not true. It's just that is going perfectly sideways. And uh, for that fact, people that are saying there's some kind of cycle top in. I mean, February nineteenth, we were at fifty-seven thousand. So I mean, we've basically been in this. What? For over two months, we've basically been doing this in that range right there. See that? That's that's not a. I, that's not a cycle top. That's that's not what cycle tops look like. That's that's, <laughs> that's not a top. Bitcoin's going up. It's going up a long ways this year. Um. A lot, a lot of math-based and historical data-based people on YouTube are under the impression that, that, you know, we're bound by some logarithmic curve or some data from the past, right? We're, we're dealing with a supply shortage in Bitcoin. 
there's what a cycle tops look like. There's, there's the last bull run four years ago. See that? See that? Look at that. That's not. <laughs> That's not what this looks like. You don't go sideways for two months and, and then drop straight down and call it a top. It's not how that works. There's been no there's been no massive push to the upside. We're lower today than we were almost seven weeks ago. We we're at the same place we were seven weeks ago. That's, that's not that's not how market cycle tops work. Um a lot of technical analysis people, I don't mean to dog people and whatnot. Maybe they just, they're not paying attention, but the supply of Bitcoin disappearing, that, that means something. That That's what's going to cause Bitcoin to go up in price. I mean, since April 5th, there's like been 81,000 on one day. Bitcoin taking off exchanges. Another day, 63,000 Bitcoin. Day after that, forty thousand Bitcoin taken off exchanges. That's people putting their Bitcoin into cold storage, their their own personal wallets to, to hold on to. These people aren't selling. Um, this matters. These these this the fundamental the fundamentals of Bitcoin are far more important than anyone drawing triangles and saying this might happen and that might happen. It's going to go up or down and do this and do that. That. that that is, that that doesn't. This is far much more important. See this orange line. This is the liquid reserve of Bitcoin, and I think this is probably a little too much. I don't think there's that much out there. I don't know if they're. Well, I suppose that's probably pretty accurate. But anyways, this orange line for the last year. This is the supply of Bitcoin on on exchanges. Look at that. Look at that. It's just. I mean, look at that. Look how far down it's gone. <laughs> The black line is the price of Bitcoin. So you notice how the liquid supply is disappearing every day. It's less and less and less. And look at the black line on the bottom. Less supply, price going up. Less supply, price going up. Less supply, price going up. Less supply. This is not going to stop. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. This outweighs technical analysis. Any, any person that's doing technical analysis and not paying attention to this chart, they're making a huge mistake. This this is massive. <laughs> this this is going to give you a, a supply crisis at some point. It's coming, whether it comes this year or the next halving cycle in four years or sometime in between. At this point, who knows? We might be in a super cycle. But this is this is going somewhere, and it's going to come to a point where these big investors they're not allowed to buy over the counter. So when they buy over the counter. It doesn't affect the price of these exchanges, right? When that over-the-counter supply dries up, those big, big institutions are going to be forced to come onto this spot market and start buying Bitcoin. And when that happens, this price is going to go absolutely through the roof. And anyone out there is trying to scare you right now, whether it's intentional or just out of ignorance, don't listen to them. This Bitcoin is not crashing. It's not. It'll take a black swan, in my opinion. To uh, to go below fifty thousand, right here. Down here, there's so much institutional and big players buying Bitcoin. They're not going to sell because they'd have to. They make so much money already. They'd have to pay fifty percent taxes if they were to sell right now, because a lot of them have been buying in the last twelve months, right? March twenty twenty, the price of Bitcoin was super low. So they've all been buying basically in the last 12 months. Maybe at some point, you know, it would take it take a black swan or it would take the institutional investors to pull the rug out and say, ha ha, we got the cryptocurrency market, how we did it on purpose. Now, what are the chances of that? Seriously. And they're going to pay 50% taxes? These people down here, they're not selling. They are not selling. I'm getting annoyed watching YouTubers. They've been in this for, for three, four, five, six, seven years. This Bitcoin's not going down. It's, there was no breakout. This is not a breakout. That that is not a breakout. You can draw triangles all day long. You can draw a new triangle today if you want. Bitcoin's not paying attention to triangles. It's not paying attention to people drawing triangles, right? I can draw. Well, that's not even can't even do it on that one now. No, but uh, 
All right, I can draw a new triangle here. See, now I can draw it. Wow, look, another symmetrical triangle. It's it's forced. This the, the candles keep going to the right. It's forced to go up or down, but it's not. It's just going sideways. And so <laughs> this last yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday, you know, the YouTube community was basically saying, "Oh, we broke down." That's not a breakdown. They're saying, oh, we broke down and, and, you know, now we're retesting back up and we're retesting, retesting. That's not, that's not, a, that's not a retest. That's not, Bitcoin doesn't care about that triangle. Bitcoin could care less about that triangle. Take these lines off here. Just zoom out just a touch. Look, that's going perfectly sideways. <laughs> um. Anyways, that's just annoying. YouTube YouTubers have to fight for views. Well, they think they have to. They really don't. Have, they get more views if they put drama into it. And I don't know if they realize sometimes they're actually they're actually making fud stories to their own viewers. But uh, now this this supply crunch is real. This is any any technical analysis person that draws triangles and and this and that and is contemplating a big breakdown that they're, they're wrong. Bitcoin's not breaking down, you know, unless it's a black swan event. Um, there's a guy named Willie Woo, for anyone interested, if you want to look up Willie Woo and follow him. He uh, he looks at this long-term kind of stuff, and he's been in Bitcoin for a long time. And uh, he'll pretty much tell you how it is. Basically, 53,000. Right about in here is the one trillion dollar market cap of Bitcoin, and that that means something to the big investors, the, the institutions. They like a one trillion dollar market cap asset. So, uh, I'd be surprised if it goes below fifty three. In my opinion, we're never going below fifty again, barring a black swan. Um, Traditional technical analysis, you can draw lines and triangles all you want, but it's irrelevant. There's the, the point is, is there's just there's not very much Bitcoin out there anymore, right? The supply is getting smaller and smaller every day. And anyone in their right mind is not going to sell their Bitcoin, right? So the only people that are going to sell their Bitcoin are the people that are being scared, right? So don't be scared. <laughs> there's probably lots of YouTubers out there that just are kind of, I don't want to use negative terminology, but just say they're not paying attention to reality, right? Traditional analysis, yes, of an asset, yes, can say we could drop down to $30,000 next week. Yeah, that's that's absolutely right. But Bitcoin's not a traditional asset. It doesn't care about traditional analysis. It could care less. About triangles and 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 that it's just <laughs> there's just there's just not the point. I think the point a lot of the technical analysis people are missing is there's not that much Bitcoin to sell. If there's not Bitcoin to sell, how can the price go down? Right. The only people selling are the weak hands and the new people that don't understand what's going on. These people down here, they're not selling. It's not happening, man. Not happening. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Get this message out to a few more people. Later.